Yes, Digital Product Family, we're back again with another one. Check this one out, guys. I'm going to show you how to create a fantastic bundle of mug designs, sublimation PNG designs, ready to put on Etsy and get that fantastic passive income. So, guys, check this one out. And as usual, if you love digital products, you love creating, selling, and all of that good stuff, please hit the like, subscribe and smash that notification bell for more of my videos in your feed. So check this one out, guys. Look, I'm just looking at Etsy. Typically, these mug designs are really popular where you're selling mug wraps, designs, ready-made, ready for people to use and put on their mugs. And people love these bundles. I'm noticing this quite a lot. And what's beautiful about this, there are many niches within the design niche, mug design niche that you could do. You know, I'm going to show you just a few. Like this this bundle of 30, you know, you can get an estimated revenue of $1,500. Now, I'll be honest, 30 designs can be done using mid-journey in like 20 minutes, guys. And I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to design it and get it ready and put it and just get it all done. Right? I can look across many of these different bundles, you know, and there's many different niches. So, for example, I could be looking at this kind of idea where you've got these really nice patterns, designs. And remember, there are things that cross over. So many designs with tumblers, many designs with other items. The design itself crosses over. That means that if someone likes the American flag, they're probably going to like it for a tumbler and a mug as well. If someone likes kind of uh, animal print or sunflowers, they're most likely going to like it for another design too. So in terms of the crossover, the crossover is real and it's there and you can use it. So someone might be like, might, maybe likes waves like this one, mug design. Someone might like leopard print. And so typically they're going to like it for many different designs. So a bundle is really cool because it actually caters for the many different tastes. Okay. I'm um, just looking at this 200 plus mug design. Let's just very quickly have a look at that. Um, yeah, this is 1,100. Don't forget, this seller has got quite a few listings, actually. So they're actually making quite a bit. So if I just look at their store very quickly, where they have actually quite a lot of good ideas, whether it be tumblers and whether it be mug designs, um, they actually just specialize in wrap designs. And, you know, they've got 111,000 sales so far, right? So they know what they're doing. They're doing very well. And, you know, typically these uh, these uh, bundles do very well. And like I said, if you actually just, you know, look at this. This is just like um, bubble wrap design. This is These are obviously, uh, these are some Tumblr ones. But when we actually come to the the other listings, there's many listings that they have got, which are also um, the mug design, which I'm going to come to now. So you've got 1500 for this mug PNG. You got another uh, design with mu more mug designs. Let's have a look at this one. Another mug design. So, you know, each of these are getting like 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. And typically these are just one listing. So I look at this one as well. This has 100 designs. And again, it, it caters for other designs, right, that they're doing, which is also quite nice. Look at this, this kind of animal print style. And again, you know, this this seller has quite a few listings. So they may be making in excess of 10, 15K a month just on these wrap designs, which is fantastic, guys. I'm going to show you another one as well, guys, which is also really nice, really cute. Look at these. Now, we've, if you see my videos on um, 3D um, seamless pattern designs, which we did um, for other items, for tumblers if you remember check out my playlist guys if you haven't seen it but here's some fantastic really nice some of these 3d as well floral mug wraps look at this one this 3d mug wrap which is really really nice as well um and i think they're getting they're also quite popular so they're quite nice and they're quite popular as well look at this this kind of 3d style you know obviously they've got a really nice mock-up which means that they're showing you what it would look like on a mug so that's the mock-up here but this 3D floral idea is, is really nice. I mean, this is, has a bundle of, how many has it got? 40. I mean, 40 can be done really quickly. 
and let's have a look so just 40 designs uh, 20 plus baskets so it's quite popular and they're making about $879 a month it's just been up for two months so it's quite new obviously they've got a sale on as well which you need to take into account but that's what I'm saying to you guys these people they don't just have one listing they have loads you know look at this Christmas Christmas bundle 2761 again you could look at seasonal things Halloween mug designs um, you could look at Christmas mug designs you know and then you could do a design for that I mean to be honest with you even something like this with these mug designs the sort of Santa faces which could be done as well even this can be done on mid journey or even this style one so you know there's a lot of niches within the mug design niche to get into and I like to do something where it crosses over so for example if it's like a tumbler design that I've got like this look at this so this is like a floral a 3d floral so if it's like a, a, a tumbler design that I've already got and it's a 3d floral similar to this or maybe this then I don't want to reinvent the wheel I can use that same design and I could do it for this as well so look at these lovely floral 3d florals sunflower florals these are very cute and like I said um, you know you could you could do something like these ones as well which I'm going to show you actually now very very quickly these lovely little florals which are very popular as well and like I said it's about building your listing so I do, I do recommend doing bundles I mean this one's a bundle of 40 so I definitely recommend at least a bundle of say 50 or a bundle of 100 which can be done very quickly I want to show you how to do one like so quick okay and I'm going to specify I want to stick to a niche of 3d floral I would say bundle them within niches if you can well, some people actually just bundle with very popular designs so there is there are a few ways of doing it now let's go ahead and get this created and then also get these lovely can you see these mock-ups how they look like they're showing you how they look like on a mug so that it helps sell it so mock-ups obviously help sell a product right that's known so I'm going to do a very quick mock-up as well with the design so that you can see exactly how you can get it up and ready for the listing okay let's go so I'm gonna jump on straight away to mid journey my go to AI software um, so let me just go on to this very quickly guys okay I'm on mid journey right now guys look at the speed of this so I'm gonna go forward slash look how quick it is with mid journey so easy guys check out the links in my description for everything that I use guys so forward slash put the prompt now I'm just gonna paste one that I've written already before right but I'm gonna go through it very quickly so remember what I showed you um, in terms of like the design that I want to do I'm gonna stick to the kind of floral idea where's my florals okay so I want to stick to like a floral kind of idea like that 3d floral you know nothing too complicated so literally all I've done is t I've typed in 3d I'm gonna say uh, 3d sunflowers I want to say 3d sunflowers pattern okay 3d sunflower pattern that's it <laughs> guys with the prompts don't get don't overdo it you could do if you want if i wanted to add more things to it i can do but that's all i'm gonna say right that's what i'm gonna say but the important thing is this now if you if you look at any kind of um design for uh the mug mug designs are typically if i just show you just very very quickly because you need to understand about aspect ratio so when we're looking at designs we're looking at aspect ratio of the design so when i'm when i'm talking about aspect ratio i'm talking about like um how the design should be like position uh, the size of the design right the size of the design okay so when we're looking at the design guys just very quickly i just want you to understand this point here let's look at this rainbow sort of idea design here this rainbow mug the design itself you can see that the design this one here is going to be it's like a rectangular shape right 
it's like a rectangular shape and it has a specific aspect ratio so basically I want to make sure that I'm getting the right size so that I can put it on the mug and it won't look distorted okay I hope that makes sense so check this out let me jump back on to mid journey so what I've done is 3d sunflowers I want a pattern and I also want it to be um, seamless now seamless being when it actually wraps around the mug it actually matches quite nicely right it matches quite nicely so that it doesn't look strange the design touches and it matches quite well check out my videos on seamless pattern I've got dedicated one on that now 3d sun sunflowers pattern so I do minus minus aspect ratio AR sorry aspect ratio and then 7 by 3 which will give me that nice design and then I'll do minus minus tile to make sure that it's a pattern that is seamless that means when it wraps around the mug it touches both sides and it looks good right let me just click enter let's see what I get with that one let's see what we get so obviously if you look at this design on my screen this logo of a coffee mug you can see it's square it's a square design that's not the aspect ratio I want. I want it to be more rectangular so that when it goes onto the tumbler, see, look at these. Can you see there are, with Mid Journey, it produces four different ideas, right? Four different ideas. And obviously, the size now, the aspect ratio is really good. It works really well because that will wrap around the tumbler perfectly well. Okay? So let's see. I've asked for 3D sunflowers pattern in the aspect ratio, which is there, and then the tile which is also clearly there as well. Uh, sorry, the seamless is there. Okay, that's looking pretty good so far. Remember, the reason why I chose sunflowers is because sunflowers is searched quite a lot. People like sunflower designs. People love that. So obviously I want to go for a design that's popular. Now, I would bundle loads of designs. So sunflower might be one. I might do another one, which might be daisies, 3D daisies, botanical, Right, these are quite nice. Look at these. Right, really cute. Really nice. So I'm going to go for this fourth one here. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, they're all quite good. If I didn't like it, I can regenerate. But I'm going to uh, upscale number four quickly. All right, up four is quite cool. All right, that's quite nice, right? Nice sunflower designs in 3D. They look 3D as well. So what I'm going to do is I want to save this design. Whoops. What am I doing? Save as. Save it in my documents, right? There you go. Boom. Done. Right. Now, the other thing I will say, I want to just give you like a couple of things just to explain. Now, in terms of a mug design, the mug design typically should be quite good in terms of its uh, resolution. So in terms of the resolution, it should be very, it should be quite clear. Mid Journey produces around 100, 120 DPI. So on a mug, because it's about that big, it shouldn't be, it should be good in terms of quality. However, um, you know, anything bigger than that, really, I would definitely put it in an AI upscaler, right? And an AI upscaler would be something like that I use is uh, this one, which is Replicate. Um, I use quite a few different AI upscalers, but if I really wanted to. I just wanted to show you something. If I really wanted to, you know, upscale it and make the resolution really, really, really clear, which I actually don't really need to, right, at the minute. I don't really need to. But I just want to show you very quickly if you wanted to. So if I wanted to upscale it, say, four times, like I said, I really don't think it's necessary. I'm going to submit, show you how to upscale it very quickly. And then I want to show you, like, the quality-wise. Like I said, on something like a, on a mug... I don't think it's necessary at all because I think the quality should be good enough. Now, what it's going to do is this upscaling basically increases the clarity, the resolution. It makes it a very, very, very clear design. And I'm going to show you what I mean by clear. So it's just done it now. It's upscaled. The, this is the old version. Input, output is a new version. And then I'm going to show you both of them, right? So let me show you this one, which is the one that Mid Journey produced. To be fair, it's very nice. So when I zoom in, control plus, 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 it actually looks really pretty good. But what you'll notice, can you see this edge here? It looks jagged, right? So anything that is massive, anything, sorry, that is big, and I'm, what I mean by big is, I mean like wall art. Wall art is quite big. 
then you would need to upscale it because you don't want like it to be unclear look at this as well it's unclear even the middle of the sunflower is a bit rough it doesn't look clear now check this one out this is the one that i upscaled four times right so four times the size now i'm going to zoom in same amount there you go look at this very clear no jagged edge absolute clarity right look at this look how clear it is look how clear it is guys yeah amazing so this is what i'm talking about anything quite big that's but with this i think it's absolutely fine to use it now let's go for the next bit so what i like to do is obviously you would sell your designs you could have them like on a sheet now let me explain something to you I like to do things quickly. I don't like to waste time and I like to make it easy for myself. So what I would do is, this is what I would do and this is my advice is, if I wanted to get these templates, now remember typically there's different sizes for um, mugs, okay? There's like an 11 ounce, 15 ounce mugs. So you want to be able to cater for different sizes. So what I would do is I would have 11 ounce, say 15 ounce of the same design, right, on those templates because typically what you want to do is you want to create you know these templates okay um so these template designs you would have them maybe on a sheet all these designs so that people can sort of print them out typically okay i'll show you what i mean let me just open up this listing just to give you an idea what you want to do is if you look at this you can see that you'd have your design to show and then you'd have your mock-up but you typically have a template so if i go to mug design template and let's say I've already created my sunflower designs right I've already created it I would go into Etsy and I would just simply get like a template for my mug designs that I can use so I'll give you an example if I click this one which is I think is one maybe I've got right I would buy on Etsy something that these are very cheap and these are full wrap mug templates. That means that when you create your design, you can put it on the template and it's the exact size that the customer needs. So for an 11 ounce would be this size, 12 ounce this, 15 ounce this size. Now that way you know for sure that when you put your designs on it, it's the right size. So the customer gets the, the correct size. So that's what I would do. I would put these on a like a template and then basically have a downloadable put the link on a downloadable PDF. I'll create it in Canva because for me Canva is so easy to use. Check out the link in my description for using Canva. And now what I'll do is I'll show you exactly how to put this, my design, on a template, right? I'm gonna use a sunflower. Obviously you do a bundle, remember, it's a bundle of designs. You're gonna do a bundle of wraps, hopefully. But I'm just gonna just upload my own design, I mean this design that I've just done. So I'll go to Canva. I've already purchased one of these templates. They're really cheap, like a dollar or two. I'll get it on Etsy because I know that it's a set size. I'm not gonna go and create a, you could actually go and create a size for the mug quite easily if you want. But I've got this and I just, I like to use these quickly. I like to do it real quick and I even like to get the mock-up templates and I'll show you that in a minute. So I'll go to my, my page and I'm gonna go to, let's say, um, an 11 ounce template that I've already got, all right? Here's an 11 ounce mug template, okay? So this is my template, so this is the actual size. Now remember, I did an aspect ratio when I did the mug designs on, on Mid Journey as a seven by three. Now, can you see why I did that sizing seven by three? Because now it was it should fit perfectly well on my Canva design. Let me just go to, to it, yep. Now, let me just upload my design because remember I saved it on my laptop. Upload files. Where's my file? Where's my file? Upload files. Okay, where have I saved it? I've saved it here, there it is. I'm gonna go to this version because that's good enough. Click on it. Now it's going to upload on Canva. Here it is. And then I click on it. Here's my design. Okay. Now all I need to do is slightly move it on there. And then it sits it perfectly in place. And that's it. Guys, that's it. Now if I wanted to go and add another page, right? If I wanted to get the design again, all I need to do is I need to keep using that same template and I'll put it on again and again and again until I can have maybe 50 designs, right? I'd, I'd create 50 designs, 50 really cool designs, and that's it.
download it there you go and i can i can sell it uh and make sure obviously that you sell it as different file formats for the for the customer and that's it right i'm done once i got my 20 30 40 50 i would say 50 at least bundle yeah i'll save it and then i'll download it um uh as as various format on various formats okay png and so forth different formats now that's it that is the part where your design wrap is finished so you've you've done that bit your designs are ready you just need to make sure you do that in mid journey have a theme mine are 3d florals and that's it download it put a link in the in the, on the pdf so that they can access your their designs that's all you need to do guys right that's all you need to do now the next part is also very important so what i mean by the next part is when you look at all of these designs these these people know what they're doing right so they'll have something like this which is like a way of selling their product by having a mock-up right i'm going to show you the same of how to create a mock-up on your listing because i keep saying it all these different mock-ups look at these mock-ups right these mock-ups show you how it looks like looks like on the mug i do the same thing i would literally go to etsy and i get and i'll get a mock-up so i look through and see what these mock-ups are and i think i've taken this which is like two pounds 67 really cheap or this one where you can put your design on it really quick guys but it makes such a difference because it's a difference between a sale and not now check this out guys so i'm going to go on to um canva again now remember we've done the first part which is the designs they're done the second part is to get the mock-up and obviously the title description and all of that ready for the listing but i'm going to show you the important thing is of getting those mock-ups <laughs> so the next thing is i would open up my um the mock-up which i bought right like i said i buy it on etsy really cheap quick here's a mock-up right you can see that they typically have these three mugs to show you now look how quick this is it's ridiculous go to my uploads remember my sunflower designs they're already there so i don't need to upload it again wait what am i doing i don't need to upload it again look drag it there look at this guys look at this just move it into place there you go right now i like typically what i like to do as well personally is i like to give it a nice little background so i would go to elements on canva i'll go to could be a kitchen yeah kitchen background i like those kitchen backgrounds put that across put it in the background boom there you go right download it download it upload it on my etsy listing and that's what they will see when they get when they want to get that sunflower design and literally that's exactly the same right exactly the same as how they have it you know no different these are the, exactly the same style as how they sell it um or the other ones they all got these kind of mug right look at these these mug designs these are the christmas ones obviously so they're slightly different but obviously like i said to you when i showed you my uh the floral designs this is like exactly the same you got these nice mug designs right but i like to do more than the usual you know me so i'm gonna go into this nice 3d style so what i did was also as a bonus thing because i like to stand out on uh, etsy i got this rotating mug right check this out i got this rotating mug this um uh mock-up right i think it's really cool and i think it will help me stand out there you go rotating one now like i said i see it as an investment they they do different prices sometimes they do really really cheap you could get it for like one two three dollars this one is a little bit more but like i said they go they go a long way to sell your product so then listen to this go back to canva like i said i've already got this previously so i'm gonna go to my uh mug design check this out guys it's ridiculous how quick this is All right here's my rotating design let me go and get my mug uh design sunflowers where are you sunflowers let me go to my uploads there you go it's there click there and put it on my design center back okay center back play my design
check this out guys boom there you go my rotating beautiful sunflower design oh that looks a bit weird why is there two handles there though <laughs> yeah okay there you go that's it download put it on my listing that's all you need to do guys and then you're ready to go right that's it hope you like the video guys if you did find value please hit the like subscribe smash that notification bell don't forget i've actually created a fantastic mid-journey style uh, mock-up so do check out my video you see it in the ones coming up next check out my playlist guys if you like i said check out all the links in my description for everything that i use guys take care and i shall see you on the next video